Sean Sewell with ingimmit.com. Got a comparison video for you that a lot of you have been asking for. The Atom right here from Arcteryx versus the Atom Heavyweight versus the Proton from Arcteryx. All three are really good active insulation layers. Some have properties that might benefit you in certain activities. Some might fit a little bit differently. So in this video, I hope to show you all three of these and give you some insights on what I think about them so you can determine which one's best for you. It'll be a fun one. Let's get into it. First, we'll start with sizing. I am six foot, 215 pounds, 45 inch chest, 33 inch waist, 36, 37 on the arms. As you can see, um, a bit athletic in build, a little bit bigger in the upper back and the chest, and a little bit round in the stomach too. Uh, 33 inch waist, um, and you know, fairly, fairly muscular in the upper body. We will start with one of my favorites, the Atom. This is, used to be called the Atom LT for lightweight. This one is gonna be a trim fit. It's available in a hoodie and a jacket. I happen to have the jacket. $300, 20 denier material, the Tiano material, has elastic cuffs, as you can see right here, and it has 60 grams of the Core Loft Compact this year insulation. That's gonna be a panel insulation, just like the other two jackets here. So these aren't clusters, it's not synthetic down or down in general, it's just a nice stretch active insulation piece. So it moves with your body, as you can see, the hoodie I've had many, many times too is a scuba style hood, fits very well. The jacket is just really ideal. Um, it blocks a bit of wind. It is air permeable, uh, will dump heat. Under arm, you'll notice there is no insulation. You get this kind of like soft shell, fleece stretchy material. Feels pretty good against the skin actually. On the inside, you get fleece lined pockets. And in my case, it comes with dog poop bags. The pockets are easily accessible and a nice little toggle right here. Other than that, not a whole lot to report. There is actually an inside pocket that's been with the Atom for a long time. A lot of active insulation jackets will not have an inside pocket or drop pockets just so it can help dump the heat out. So again, this is the Atom, formerly known as the Atom LT, available as you see here in a jacket and in a hoodie. This is this size, extra large, and again, it's a trim fit, around 14 ounces. All right, up next, we'll stick with the Atom series and we'll go to the Atom Heavyweight. I believe it used to be called the Atom AR. Now this one's much more substantial, though it doesn't weigh too terribly more, about four ounces more, but you get 120 grams of insulation, twice the insulation on the previous Atom. It is more of a keep you warm in colder temperatures or even static, like not moving. But it has that same core loft, not core loft compact, just core loft insulation. And again, there is gonna be 120 grams of it. You still retain the fleece on one side, at least lined pockets, same positioning, same placement. Under here is actually our Permier underarm. It's 20 grams insulation right there. The hood is good. Nice and tall coverage. <laughs> Also worth noting on the collar, on the inside of the neck, is a nice kind of gasket, if you will, that helps keep in the heat. It's a nice stretch to it. It's just a really nice check it. I like the gold color. Um, again, it is just a few ounces heavier, but of course that difference is gonna be uh, two things, 30 denier compared to 20 denier on the same material, but twice as much insulation as the Atom just the Atom, I almost said LT, but now it's called the Atom. Um, one way zipper, meaning it's not double zipper, so it might not be the best belay jacket. Um, you still have the elastic cuffs right there. And again, I'm always a fan of elastic cuffs. Man, I need to wash this. This is seeing quite a bit of use, as you can see right there. Today is wash day. Okay, so 350 compared to 300, twice the insulation, just a couple ounces heavier, and that uh, 30 denier compared to 20 denier on material. All right, the Proton, which is actually my favorite because this is a legit mountain jacket that can be used casually as well as 
perform really good for what I like to do, split boarding and hiking. Just like the Atom, this is gonna be fitted. This is the Proton, it is 350 bucks. Again, hand pockets placed exactly the same place. Also benefiting from the fleece line backer on at least half the pocket. This one has a 20 denier 40s air material. I feel like it dumps heat even better, blocks wind about the same, and has a little bit more toughness to it. It's kind of hard to tell indoor lighting, but it is uh, not quite a soft shell, but not quite just basic nylon. Definitely has the stretch, elastic cuffs, a common theme. Look at that extra long elastic cuff right there. So really good for us, no, I'm not a climber, but for climbers and people getting out there. You saw where the dirtiest part of my jackets usually are is right here. It's just, you're always placing your hands down places. And this is a fitted fit, just like the Atom. Um, it is nice and trim, fits me very well. I like that it's a little bit longer, has a little bit longer hem compared to the Atom. So that carries over well for my use split boarding and hiking. The hood is very, very nice, it is adjustable in the rear. Something to keep in mind, will fit for a helmet. Right there. I've had a little bit of stickiness with the zipper, but this is also a prototype. It's just very attractive. Uh, MSRP is 350 for this one. So you got 350 for the Proton. You get 20 denier material with 80 grams of, this is cool, Primaloft Gold Active Vent Insulation. So the other ones use the in-brand or in-house Core Loft. This one uses name brand Primaloft Active Gold Vent. You will see that in other active insulation jackets. Um, it just works really well. Primaloft's a great brand. So you may be paying a little bit more for that, but also the features, it's Arc'teryx, the fit, it's Arc'teryx, and the durability, it's Arc'teryx. You pay for what you get. So hopefully seeing the nice lightweight Atom right here compared to the heavyweight Atom compared to the Proton was helpful. Uh, these are all size extra large, um, all between 300 and 350 in price, though they do go on sale at certain places. And they all feature the active insulation. This one, the Primaloft Gold Active Vent, Coreloft, Coreloft Compact. I'd recommend any of them. The one that actually sees the most use for me is the Proton, just because I can take it from this urban environment here in Denver, right to the mountains, right to the ski slope, right to the gym, um, and it just looks good. It's great. If you're looking for casual, urban, and then use, the Atom might be a good choice. If you're looking to stay warm as heck and you want synthetic insulation, then the heavyweight Atom might be for you. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, a thumbs up, be appreciated. I have another video I'm shooting today comparing all the active installations for 2024. If you want to see that, consider subscribing to our Engagement YouTube channel. Link right there. I'm Sean Sewell, the owner of Director Stoke for Engagement. Till next time, take care.